Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down Arena. We are back in Arena. War of the Spark is out, and I haven't played any of the cards yet in Arena. I haven't built a deck or anything with Arena yet. Uh, so I've been doing all the pre-release kit opening videos. Hope you guys have been enjoying those. If you haven't seen those, I'll leave a link in the comments and uh, description. I'm going to try to start pumping those out a few more times this week. we got a box we got to open, too. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We've been getting some pretty cool pulls. Uh, but I, I haven't played Arena, uh, and I haven't really got a feel for what people are doing. Uh, I've been, I just got to actually play with War of the Spark cards last night for the first time uh, with my buddies. We had a pre-release kit uh, session, had some, had some fun. Um, so I, I got used to some of the cards there, uh, and it was, it was actually a lot of fun. Everybody was playing some really cool, interesting stuff, and the games were exciting. Uh, so I enjoyed it, but uh, I just haven't have found the time to build and craft a deck yet uh, and really go through and see what cards might be useful to Merfolk right now in Arena or mm -hmm. what we might try to do. I think Merfolk Wizards or just a wizard deck in general, which contains a lot of Merfolk by, by chance, uh, might have a really decent upgrade with War of the Spark with like Proliferate and things like that. I think... Our triggers with like Dean of Eriteration and stuff like that might actually be a really cool deck if we can play it right. Maybe even like a, a white blue is what I'm thinking type thing. Possibly. I don't know. Something I'm mulling over in my head. But again, I haven't had time to go through all this. So what I did do in the meantime uh, is I added a few special additions to our Simic Merfolk. We'll bring that back out for, for a day here. We've got Skydiver in the deck. Oh, I'm removing it. Just want to hover over it. Show us the card. Merfolk Skydiver. Flying. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on a target creature you control. Troll. And it costs three colorless, uh, a green and a blue to proliferate whenever you would like. And it only costs two. Uh, should be cool to get overhead a little bit more with our Merfolk. Uh, in our constructed last night, it was doing some work for my friend of mine. He uh, pulled it in his, and he was doing some work with it. And then we've got... Giant Growth, taking place of Titanic Growth. I still really want to keep Titanic Growth and just have all the buffs I can in this deck. Uh, but until we figure out a better way to play it, I just took out the Giant Growths. We could be more mana efficient with... I mean, I'm sorry. I took out all the Titanic Growths. We can be more mana efficient with Giant Growth anyways. Um, and I just wanted to play with some of the new War of the Spark cards and just see how we can do. We haven't played Simic in a while. Uh, so let's do this thing and see how it rolls. As you can see, I uh, started building a Merfolk Wizards 2.0 deck with like Augur, Bolas, and maybe Kazmina as a Planeswalker. Tested a couple times, didn't go so well. Uh, so we'll just run this and see how we do. I know some of the decks that are out right now that people are playing uh, is like a, a green deck that's got some like Kiora as a Planeswalker. Um, bringing out massive creatures, drawing cards, all that sort of stuff. There's the Bolus deck. You can go infinite with Bolus if you play it right. That's a deck right now that's uh, popping up, I guess. And this is a good hand. We'll keep this. And the other deck that everybody's playing, and I want to play it too, uh, is Feathers. That deck is insane. Feathers is crazy. Um, we're going to lead with Breeding Pool here. Go Kumena. Hope for the best. Feathers is a crazy card. Feather, the redeemed, uh, brings instants and sorceries back to your hand at the end of your end step every time you play them. Pretty nuts. Uh, I pulled it in my pre-release game last night, and it was pretty darn crazy. It, I was doing some crazy stuff with it. Every turn I was just playing three instants, bringing it back. So a whole deck based around that with a lot more fluidity. Uh, over just a constructed draft type environment is going to be very powerful. I know a lot of people are going to be playing it. And I think we're going to hold off on Skydiver here. Uh, I want to just go ahead and drop our other Merfolk. And we'll drop our Siren Storm Tamer. We'll get some protection up for everything. And we'll swing for two and we'll set up for a nasty attack next turn. So I know I'm kind of rambling a little bit, but again, I haven't been on Arena, so I, I had to catch you all up. For what's been going on with me and the decks and the meta right now and where it might be shifting, uh, I think people are still figuring it out. I mean, technically, paper isn't going to be 
officially out for another week. Uh, we've got like the official date coming up on Saturday. So everybody's got the cards though. Everybody's got their booster boxes and, and stuff. So the cards are floating around for sure. Your go, bud. Come on, gutter bones. Let's at least play it out, all right? Don't concede yet, please. That's fine. I don't give a crap about that. Well, it steals one damage to any target, so I guess that's not great. You know what we'll do? Uh, we are gonna skydiver and put our counter on the storm tamer so it can have protection. Uh, we'll pay the two. Go here. Put it on Siren Storm Tamer. Well, I guess this guy's... Eh, that was actually pretty stupid, but... Let's sink. So I guess we're just going to put the Curious Obsession on Skydiver right now. I know it makes it more of a target, but I kind of messed up on where to put my counter. Because if Fiend blocks, it can just destroy our Skydiver now. And I want to be able to proliferate if we need to. So I guess we're just going to go like this. Uh, I'm not... I haven't been feeling great. My throat's been uh, hurting me for like the past week. So if you hear my uh, voice cracking a little bit, it's because uh, it's finally all kind of wearing on me quite a bit. So I've got a bunch of medicine in me right now. That could be affecting my game. Just throwing it out there as a reasonable excuse if I lose horribly. Haven't seen her in a while. All right, two dive downs? Okay. I'm happy with this. We're good. Come at me, bro. Bye-bye blockers. Feel free. Mm-hmm. So let's, uh... Go ahead, do this here, and we'll do this here. We'll get rid of both their creatures, we'll just keep them on really heavy defense. And we get to draw a card. Oh, there goes our Skydiver though. We could counter this. He's going to go at my face for this. He's going to go at this for this. We're going to counter this. And then we'll take action. Another Curious Obsession is fine. So I'm already misplaying a bit. I'm not watching my triggers at all with this deck, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but we're still in fine shape. They're quite a bit behind here. We'll see how long this game takes, and uh, we'll probably just play like one other game. And uh, I'm open to suggestions. If you think you guys know some good additions we can put into our Merfolk decks, whether it be Mono Blue, Simic, or even the potential, like I was saying, of like another Merfolk Wizards, we can bring that back. Used to play that all the time back when this channel started. Um, so I wouldn't mind going back to the roots a little bit. Oh, okay. Got a new one, Soren. Uh, deal one band to target a uh, return a creature from your graveyard. Uh, creatures have lifelink. Okay, they're going to hit me once. They're going to hit me twice. Uh, they're not going to have fun this turn. Uh, Merfolk. Because they are dead. Should have put that on the Skydiver, honestly. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm clicking anymore. I almost like attacked myself there. <laughs> uh, well, good game on that one. All right, so Skydiver showing its worth. Uh, pretty happy with that. I, I'm excited for that one to be in Simic for sure. I think that's a great addition to the Simic deck. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. Tempest. All righty. Cha cha cha. Well, we don't have any green, but majority of our hand is blue, so we will keep. It's not bad. We can get up some protection. All right, now we need a green, though, for sure. We want to be able to start playing more folk with spider. 
Here, here's the Boros. Uh, hopefully this isn't the feather deck that we were just talking about. Merfolk. First strike, hexproof from black, huh? Okay. Let's play out Mistbinder. Swing for one. pretty tough for us actually. Alright, so what do we need here? Could have swung in with Siren Storm Tamer, but it's alright. We're going to pass it here. Wow, that is not good. Not good at all. Alright, well, we're going to Trickster first before everything gets hexproof. Tap him down. Resolve this. go from here, huh? Start by swinging. Probably shouldn't have swung with Siren Storm Tamer, honestly. So they're just going to take everywhere else, huh? try to trap the uh, Voice of Plenty next turn. We'll Trickster uh, and then River Herald's Boon. We're still going to be getting hit for quite a bit here. Oh my goodness, this is not pretty. Alright, I don't think he can combo it off this time. Yep. No? Oh, come on. Attack in with your voice of plenty. You mother trucker. Smart. Smart. Hmm. <sighs> How do we want to do this? Still gonna bring this in. Drop him down to size. Uh, maybe that wasn't the best move, actually. Take this out. Do we want to buff now? I think we should. Well, we got the dive down. If they want to trade with our Mist Binder, we'll dive down it. No, just gonna go straight to damage. Or do they just win next turn? Six, ten, potentially.
just gonna go here, huh? I am gonna block here. Just in case they got something up their sleeve. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, they did have a buff on that guy, so that's fine. He's gonna die either way. He is gonna make some angels. Not good. Alright, well, Diver helps us a little bit. Give it to him. This is not going to be pretty, though. Taking nine. So let's block here. He'll obviously buff. But we're forced to do this. It's very unfortunate. Alright, so that's GG. All right, GG. Good angel deck. Probably could have played that a lot better. I feel so off right now with this game. I am out of practice. I need to play more. Ugh, it's ugly. All right. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know uh, what cards I should put into the deck and what you guys are thinking with the meta shifting right now where Merfolk is going to land in, how uh, how powerful is it actually going to be with the new War of the Spark beta. I'm uh, having my doubts, but I think there could be uh, a way we can take it that could be beneficial. I think it uh, will require cutting some Merfolk that we're used to playing and putting in some other cards that are going to be more relevant to the meta right now. But uh, what those are yet, I don't know. I haven't found the time to look it all over. So let me know in the comments. Stay tuned for more Booster Krakens coming up this week, more Arena, maybe some more Popper Slivers, and we will see you guys in the next video.